Hello, friends, and welcome to Take Two for this Wednesday, the 27th of January, 2021. I'm Jeannie. I'm so glad that you've decided to come along for the ride on this hump day. <laughs> well, last night, I got a very special video sent to me, and it was a video of my seven-year-old nephew, Jimmy, doing a magic trick. Yes, he came on the screen all bold and, and brave and said, Hi, everybody. Uh, it's time for another magic trick video. <laughs> and I thought, wow, what's he going to do? So he took a coin, just an ordinary coin, and he put it down on a table. And then he took a glass and he put the glass over the coin and moved it. <gasps> And the coin disappeared. And then he took the glass and he put it back over and moved it the other way. And the coin magically reappeared. Well, of course, this was really a big and exciting thing. We were so happy that Jimmy was, you know, being able to show us this amazing skill that he's acquired of making a coin disappear. But then at the very end of the video, so proud and so happy with what he had done, he ended the video by saying, do you want me to tell you how I did it? <laughs> you know, sometimes in this life, we just get so excited about things that we want to know every detail about it. Now, honestly, when you're watching a magic trick, like, and Michael and I have always been fans of illusionists and, and magicians from David Copperfield to Siegfried and Roy, and in more recent days, Michael Carbonaro, we love to watch the way they do these things, and you just go, wow, how how is that done? How did he do that? How did he make this disappear or this change color? Or or, or how did he make something that was uh, alive, like an animal, turn into a statue or whatever crazy things that's done? And you watch these things and you say, wow. But here's the thing. What if we knew what the magic was? What if it wasn't magic to us? And we say, I know how to do that. Years ago, we went to a magic show. Some friends of ours had tickets for Atlantic City to go see this magician. And we went into the showroom and we watched, and he was a no-name and remains a no-name because before he was even done with each trick, we figured it out. It was so easy. He wasn't a very good illusionist, not a very good magician. But then when you see the one Ones that really do know what they're doing, like like the ones I mentioned earlier, you just are, you, there's the wow factor there of how, how did they do that? Wow, that's amazing. But what if you were on your way in to go see a show with um, Siegfried and Roy where they make an elephant disappear or David Copperfield where he, you know, does the crazy things that he did. What if you were on your way into the showroom and someone pulled you over and went, psst, come here. Do you know how he does that? Do you know how they do that? Do you know how this is done? And they told you all the secrets. You'd go in going, I, I wish I hadn't known. Now it's not a big deal. See, some things in this world just need to remain a mystery. Because once the wow factor is gone, then there's just no excitement about it. And, and it's kind of ruined for you. You know, on, on a, a much uh, more uh, human level, and not just so much magic, but on a human level, I read an article online, this woman who wrote for an online publication, Kathleen O'Brien is her name. She posed a reader, a, a question to her readers, and it was this, a simple one. If you could know the exact time that you were going to take your last breath on this earth, would you want to know? 70% of her readers responded in the survey by saying, no way, no how. I never want to know. I'd rather that remained a mystery. Now, a few of them, the 30% that did say yes, possibly, they were kind of on the fence, most of them about it, saying, well, maybe so that I could get finances in order, maybe so that I could, uh, you know, uh, um, make sure that my family was provided for, et cetera, et cetera. But honestly, other than somebody who plans their own demise 
or is getting ready on on uh, to to go and have the you know uh, say there were commi- there was a crime and they went to prison and they knew that they were going to face the final day and they have a date. Other than them, most of us don't know. Even if you're given like a you know like a terminal illness uh, a diagnosis and the doctor would say, okay, you have anywhere from six to eighteen months, so you have from one to two years. Or so, even then, knowing that much, I could imagine where it would be on your mind 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Imagine those on death row also knowing, ah, on the 15th, that's going to be it for me or something like that. So I think sometimes it's best for things to remain mysteries in our lives. You know, there's some things that we really wish we had the answer for. When is COVID-19 going to be eradicated in the world? That's something we'd all like to know an answer to. But sadly, in this case, that's one of those mysteries that we're just going to have to live with for a little while. How about when there's a, a, a crazy criminal going out doing like say a series of bank robberies and then one day the bank robbers are caught and you say, oh, that was a mystery that I'm glad we got an answer to. But some things like the day you're going to take your last breaths or maybe even Jimmy's magic coin trick, some of those things sometimes it's just best that they remain a mystery. Okay? Now listen, go out and be a blessing to somebody today. That's not a mystery. That's something that you want to know that you're going to go to. Go be a blessing because you may end up being the only one who is, okay? And who knows, the person you're blessing, it may be a mystery to them to say, I wonder when somebody's just going to pick up a phone or come by and see me or just say a kind word. So that's the kind of mystery that you do want some answers to. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. Just go to YouTube and look up J-E-A-N-N-E S-I-G-L-E-R hit the subscribe button that notification bell ding and every time I premiere another take two you'll be notified have a wonderful hump day everybody and I'll see you on Friday for my unsung hero of the week I love y'all very much bye bye